Hey Color Bees, come hang around with me while we do a spring try on. What I'm looking for for spring is just to freshen up my wardrobe. I've, I've got some fun prints, patterns, and of course, lots of color. We go through all of the pieces. Of course, the comments are open for you. Let me know if you have any questions about fit, sizing, price point, anything like that. But everything will be linked in my OTK shop and I'll try to be as descriptive as possible when it comes to fit and sizing in the actual try on. Let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna start with the workout onesie that I have on. I, it's actually got like a little wide back on it, stripe on the side. I'm gonna stand up and show you, but. Also, I have on a bra with it. You don't have to wear, it has a little built-in bra, but if you need a lot of support, you might wanna actually put on a sport bra. I have this bra on because I'm about to be trying on clothes, and so I thought I would just be ahead of the game. Here's this suit, it's super cute. I love the stripe down the side like super cute athletic look the fabric can we talk about the fabric it is so incredibly soft if you are super into fabrics feeling good and also having a really good fit this is a good one can we talk about my cute baddie socks these socks come in white they come in black and they're actually from my brand, Beauty Disclaimer. So if you want like a great athletic sock to work out in, these are soft. And you can feel like a baddie the moment you put those socks on your feet. Taking one step, boom, automatic baddie. Give you a little boost before you go do your workout. All right, coming straight out the gate with this really beautiful dress. It's a floral print. It's around 150, I believe, but it's probably on sale. I actually got a size small and I got a tall because I wanted it to really like drag the floor. I'll show you how it looks on the floor. I wanted like a kind of mermaid puddled look. So instead of getting my regular small, I got a tall so I could have a little bit more length and fabric. When you get a tall, you will get more length in the torso as well. So if you don't want it to be um, longer in the torso, just take your regular size. I actually think I could size down to an X small because there is some space here, but it's, it's very comfortable. It's giving spring mermaid. It's a great wedding guest dress. This is the back of the dress. Very cute. The armhole is cut a little bit low, so maybe wear a different type of bra. I would definitely switch out my bra to something else so that it doesn't show. Really great spring dress, and here's how it looks. Um, the floor length. This is how it drags on the floor, and this is the drama that I wanted. So if I put on a heel, it'll still be very, very long. Here's the next spring look. The whole entire look is so beautiful. The dress is giving European vacation. Beautiful, accentuated, square neck. The print is just gorgeous. It's, got, it's like a faux wrap dress. So this does cross over and it ties, but you don't have to worry about it actually coming loose because it's sewn down. I'm gonna talk about this cute little bag. It's from DSW. I believe it uh, is a reminder of a designer one, but the price is right on this one, okay? On my feet are these really cute floral slides from Target. It's a full look. Here's a quick look at the look from the feet up. And yes, this bag actually comes with a strap so you can wear it cross body if you are going like somewhere that you need to be hands free. For sizing, I'm wearing my regular size small. It is very fitted, like at the top. Uh, my cup size is a 34 double D. I could do this without a bra because of the tight fit up here. And the back has smocking, so it's stretchier. So if you need a little bit of space, want to do this dress without a bra it will totally work trust me from a thin but busty girl this is a super cute soft blue pinstriped set the top is separate from the bottom the mini skirt is actually shorts so it's got shorts built in underneath which is great when you're wearing a mini because sometimes you feel a little bit exposed so that gives you a little bit more comfort, right? I grabbed this same bag and the same shoes that I had on because I thought it was cute with the look. That just shows you that you can totally do the same bag, do the same shoes with a ton of spring looks 
and it's gonna be fine. There's no need for you to break the bank on having a separate shoe, a separate back for every little thing. Let's mix and match here. There's an adjustable strap on the back of the vest, so if you wanna tighten it up and give it more of like a like a tailored look, you can do that. You risk um, pulling a little bit too much in the bust area when you pull it too tight, so keep that in mind. You can just put a little tape, you can tape there, and that'll keep it together. The great thing about separates is that you can give both of these pieces a totally new life by pairing it with something else. So this vest can go with something else, this skirt can go with something else, and they can also go together. So spring me. I wear my regular size small in the top and the bottom. Honestly, in the bottom, I probably could have sized down to an X small. I'm just gonna give y'all a heads up and say, get ready to see this same bag for every single look, unless it absolutely does not work. But right now, it's working for everything, which means this bag is gonna work real hard for you this spring. Carrying on, here's the outfit. I was going for effortless, casual, yet elevated. So we've got this knit top with the black, um, the black, stripe and a little black around the collar cargo pants of your dreams it has rubber in the back of the waist it has a drawstring which is really nice and then you've got the beautiful detail pockets over on this side pockets here and on my feet i ended up doing a sling bag um, kenneth cole kitten heel i'm a kitten heel girl and here is the look from the feet this is a bit of an awkward angle, but I wanted to give you a very nice, like close-up detailed look of the top. So look at it, it's breathable. It's giving sit on the patio and drink mimosas for brunch. Here is another variation of the white cargos with a different top. This is like a ribbed pink bodysuit, it's a soft pink. Um, I'll show you my shoes in just a second, but I'm also wearing a really pretty floral um, pink shoe, but this takes the look a little bit more like elevated, feminine, you know, just in case you're wanting to mix that feminine and masculine energy like with the cargos and then something a little bit more girly. Here is a better look at the outfit from the feet up, the shoe. Here's the next spring look. Focus is on the denim. This is a wide leg baggy denim. And it's got a cuff um, pre-made into the bottom, which I think is great. You don't have to worry about getting the cuffs even <laughs> when you have to do it yourself. But you can do it yourself if you have a pair of jeans that will already work for this. The top is so beautiful. It's from a brand named Cezanne. I just love, love how vibrant and pigmented I love the floral print. I went ahead and styled this with my brown Gucci skin bags. I just felt like that was the vibe for this. Just elevated, but not that elevated. <laughs> because my friends, this bag is doing the job. For this look, I really love it, but the only thing I might do is switch out the belt for maybe like something gold. So I'm gonna do that just to show you what it would look like if you switched it out. Okay, let's be real. Also, this is a strap from like one of my purses. I don't have an actual gold belt. Do I need one? Probably, but however, if this is doing the job, <laughs> why do I need to spend my money on something that, that I technically already have? If you're wanting to style a purse chain as a belt, I just take the little hook and I hook it. Then I pull it through a little bit more and then I take this through the belt loop like that. And then I'll just hook it in another spot over here. That's it. I think it's super cute. I really like the way the gold belt looks. It really just plays off the top and my my gold earrings too. I already know the purse is coming with this, right? Okay, I'm gonna just put it down because you're not right. Okay. This top and bottom, um, they look like a set, but they're actually separate. I got them at two different times, but I think they're both still available. I got the top super oversized because I love just the vibe and the feel when um, the 
sleeve like hangs down like over your hands it just feels like really comfortable cozy effortless like that's the vibe effortless you know and the skirt um, is fully lined it's got this high split but it's actually not uh, really open very much i'm just showing you that there is a really high split but let me step back and show you it really just falls straight down it's close but if you want that kind of like Totally achieve that just by kind of pulling it open when you're moving or if you're taking a picture or whatever. Tuck that little knee back in, you know, whenever you want to. It does have pockets, which, hello, a skirt is beautiful with pockets. Just kiss. And I'm just pulling back a little bit so you can see the full length of the skirt. It does hit like right at the ankle. And it's perfection. I styled it with a black um, Kenneth Cole kitten heel. Something I really love about oversized tops is that you can make the looks look really different. So right now I have it tucked in pretty tight and neatly so that um, the sleeves are really baggy but not here. But if you want to switch that up, all you have to do is kind of release that tuck a little bit and give it a little pull and now you've got, you know, a lot more, a lot more room and a lot more space if that's what you're looking for. This look is all about color and texture. It's a two piece. The set does come together. Um, I love just all of the, I don't know what to call it ruching. It's not ruching. <laughs> all the texture that's created with the fabric up here at the top. I don't even know what to call it. And then on the skirt, you still have that same like ruffled action down here at the bottom, which is super cute. It's feeling like take me on a trip, take me on a vacation or, you know, day trip me, you know, something. Take me somewhere so that I can wear is take me to brunch, take me to a little outdoor moment. But this is super cute. I've just got on these pink, um, not pink, I've got on these white floral slides from Target with this look. Also, here's a little switch up. If you wanna wear the skirt, but not the top, I have this really cute black sweater that will give you like a color blocking moment. Let me get it. So you can just put this on top like this if you want a little bit of warmth. You can also just wear this sweater with a skirt and it creates a totally different look. Maybe this is, you know, an indoor restaurant moment, but still spring. And all you have to do is just put this on. I actually really love the way this looks. I love um, like the color blocking vibe that you get with something up top that is really like neutral and something you've seen before. And then you've got this fun, ruffly skirt on the bottom giving two person outfits. Talk about a dress that just screams spring. It's this one. It's from a brand named Chopo. I just love all the different details. It's just kind of got a lot of different things going on that makes it a unique piece. So the print, first of all, the print is this really nice pink, but it's got some red flowers on it. Then outside of that detail, you've got a one shoulder here with a little like ruffle. And over here, you've got the one tie at the top that is the strap, and then you've got a little off the shoulder moment. In the back, you've got this really cute ruffle of like deep V. It's just really good and really cute. With this one, I would say for sizing, size up. I got my regular size, which is a four, and there's no stretch to the fabric, and it fits like exact. So getting it over your head would be a challenge if you have like a broader shoulder or if you just want more room in your tummy area, size up so you can get it on more comfortably. This has to go over the head. It cannot go up over your waist. So size up is the bottom of the dress. It hits you like right above the ankle. With this look, I'm wearing those same white slides from Target that have the floral detail because they're just cute and they go with everything, just like their bag. But can we talk about this dress? I'm wearing my regular size four. Um, it fits perfectly. So if you're in between sizes, I would say size up. It's got pockets, like good, like really good, a good depth, you know, pockets with a really good depth. It's not just like a little shallow pocket. It's really well made. You can totally put your phone in there if you needed to. And the bow that's on the front, is um, structured so that means it's not gonna flop around you don't have to do anything to it to get it to stay it's really well put together it's just such a really cute spring dress i love the pop of pink that it gives 
and it's a really vibrant pink too so this is a dress that feels like wearing air it's like pajamas it's so soft and so light and so airy you could also just throw this on go drop the kids off at school carry on with your day you know if you're having an off day and you're going to get your toes done your nails done or whatever grocery shop if you're carrying on with your day but you want to look super cute let's do our friend here this very cute woven bag and then on my feet i went with a sneaker because i'm running errands right i'm walking around i'm gonna keep it moving i'm wearing my regular size small in this if you want more room you can size up it's honestly super super stretchy and um, it's got a built-in slip underneath so you don't have to worry about looking for something that goes under it because it's sheer at the bottom but it comes with a slip and here's the look from the feet up super casual ultra cute that's my combo i thought i'd start this look from the feet up because you know why not but the boot let's talk about the boot we're all stepping our western game up right well this one is a beautiful like neutral color but it's got like a knit fabric on the front y'all so good got my friend here now let's bring it on up you already saw the bottom of this dress but of course it's got like a little fringe detail which is in right now fringe anything western beyonce said it's time so come on get with it but this dress is from tanya taylor it's more on the luxury side but when I tell you it's so well made and so beautiful, the detailing, just look at the fabric. It's a nice thick fabric, but not too thick. So you can totally do it for spring. But this is also going to be hanging out in your closet so that when it gets cold in, you can put this on, layer with the coat, be totally comfortable. So pack your Lexus, throw your keys up, round, 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 hey. <laughs> Color bees. This is a neutral look, but it's so fun. I call this like a modern Western look. The jeans are a low rise, wide leg jean, but it's got these really beautiful pearl details on it that go all the way down to the leg. I love the fit of it. And then I paired it with this classic vest, which means it's a classic piece. You're gonna be able to wear it in your wardrobe for many seasons. You can layer it. It's a spring, it's a summer, it's a fall, it's a winter, it's a all the kind of things best. It's classic. Let's talk about the boots. Same boots that I had on just a minute ago, but <laughs> but nothing. And the same bag that I've been rocking this entire try on. This bag is doing everything for my closet. I just, <sighs> I love it so much. Anyway, here's a closer look at the boots. Did y'all see the way I just had my foot up? Shout out to me for my strength and flexibility. Look at the boots and the pants. It's giving elevated, effortless, all the amazing things. She's definitely got style when she's wearing this look. This is the spring outfit of my maximalist dreams. There's no color here, but the print and the styles are doing so much work. I mean, can you even? So the skirt has a little knotted waist right here. It's from Target. This quilted jacket that is oversized. It has pockets, all the really good things. Also from Target. I sized up. It's kind of like got those combination sizes so you can get a small medium or you can get a large extra large. I got a large extra large because the sleeve is intended to be cropped and I wanted it to be bigger, longer, just all the good things. I'm so happy I did. <laughs> the best is J. Crew, the sunglasses are Target. I used those same Western boots that I had on on another look because the vibe was right. But honestly, you can style this with all kinds of different shoes. Let me show you. I'm going to put on my different shoes and I'll show you how it looks. This is the look with the Western boot. Now I'm gonna put on the sneaker. Now here is that same look with a sneaker. So now we're hitting up a cute little brunch and we've got on a floral print like slide. Actually, it's not a print. It's just like a little applique. But look how bomb it is with all the looks. And you know our bag is working overtime. Yes, yes. 